Willingly, my body yearns to bring forth a new energy, creating the most powerful gift known to man from a single organism. I give you life. I'm just saying. Please, please, please. God's time for me. I'm fine. You know, you can always come with me. You'll be in meetings all day. Not all day. Hey, I'll be okay. Jai's gonna come over and we're just gonna hang out. Oh, good. Oh, uh, maybe that's like... I'll call you when my plane lands. Mm-hmm. It's on the dresser. Thanks, babe. Love you. I know. Love you too. Soon we'll share the greatest intimacy as husband and wife. Then the feeling of incomplete will be replaced with incomplete. 
I'm just saying. Hello? Kimmy? I'm in the study. Oh. You started without me? What's up with that? Girl, it's been one of those days. Yeah, I talked to Jay. I just want to... I know, I know. Give it time, girl. It'll happen. Soon you'll have two or three Rugrats running around here. What? And what's the rush? Why the hell do you want to be fat and ugly? I just want a complete family. And screaming kids are going to give you that? Please. Don't you want a family someday? Yup. Someday, but not today. Then why every weekend are we on here searching for your Mr. Right? Correction, not Mr. Right. Mr. Right now. All right, so what letter are we on? I believe it's M. What about... Mark? Hell no. That sounds like somebody who lives with his mother. Marty? Now that sounds like somebody who sleeps with his mother. <laughs> mm, I got it. Malik. Hmm, I like it. Oh, there's one. Malik Anthony. And he is cute. Mm. 28. Business owner. And shit. Damn. Yep, he's married. Why are all the fine ones married or gay? Right? Mm. All right, so. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Check his friends list. He should have at least one single fine friend. Oh, ah, there's one. Daryl Malik Jackson. Anthony. Mm. 27. Mm. Firefighter. Mm hmm. And single. That's it. That <laughs> is the one. Send him my profile. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so what do we say? Um, tell him I'm on fire and I need him to put me out. Damn, Sha. Why don't you just send him a picture of your coochie? Can I do that? No, girl. <laughs> You're right. All right. I ain't even shaver yet. <laughs> okay. We'll just say... Hi, Daryl. To show my appreciation for what you do for our community, how about lunch someday? Mm, that's good too. But I think you respond faster to the coochie shot in my fire statement. Mm, mm, I'm sure mm, you mm, will. <laughs> With this ring, I accept you entirely. Your needs are my needs. Your wants are my wants. Our child is our child. We are one. I'm just saying. Got you on, big bro. Yeah. How'd you guys put this together? Thanks, Sean Jermaine. Nah, I was none. Just made a few phone calls. Excuse me. But planning a party and looking this good is always <laughs> a big deal. Happy birthday, Jay. Thanks, Sean. <laughs> Thanks for everything. 
You're welcome. Anything for our girl. Yeah, our girl is something. Don't pay no attention to your friends, you know. You're welcome. Girl, your brother law really looks good. Mm. Is he married yet? Who cares? Is he here by himself? <laughs> yes, Come on, girl. Man. Behave. You both are married. I will, girl. I will. Girl, she's just saying that because she's married to a fine ass Jason. Mm mm, girl. You don't know? Kimberly went and cheated on her man for Denzel Washington. <laughs> a quality you whores will never measure up to. What? How do those bitches get invited to every event? <laughs> be nice, Sha. They're just having fun. At your expense, being faithful in a marriage is obviously a joke to them. They're right. I wouldn't cheat on Jason with Denzel Washington. Who would? It is old ass. <laughs> right? <laughs> but Boris Cujo? Mm. Now see, I'll Ooh. be all over him, girl. Thank you. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Turned out nice, huh, Kimmy? Thanks to you, girl. You are a lifesaver. Anytime, girl. <sighs> What's wrong? Uh, them again? I don't know. Nothing like that. What is it? What? Shy, what's wrong? Nothing, I'm just glad I have my best friend plan a successful surprise party for her man. Can it, Shy? I know that tone. <laughs> okay, Daryl, the fireman, mm -hmm. he called and he wants to have lunch. Saturday. Ah, that's good. And? And I said yes. And what does this have to do with me? No. Kimberly, please, I do not want to meet him by myself. No. Nope. Suppose he's a maniac or a killer. He's a fireman, Sha. Suppose all that stuff is a lie. Suppose it's a scam or he's a nutcase. You don't want anything bad to happen to me, do you? All you would have to do is just sit close by and I'll give you the signal if everything's okay. Ten minutes. At ten minutes, and I'm leaving. Thank you, thank you, thank you! <laughs> You're crazy. Relax, Shy. We're early. <laughs> Tell me that is not who I think it is. Kimberly, I had no idea he was coming. Wait, what are you doing? I told you double date. Kimmy, Sha? I did Sha Parker? Hey, how you doing? Pleasure to finally meet. Pleasure's mine. This is my girl, Kimberly. Nice to meet you, Kimberly. And this is my boy, Malik. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So I hope you don't mind me bringing a friend. You never know these days we're online dating. <laughs> <laughs> I perfectly understand that's sort of why I bought Kimmy. So you want to grab a table and talk? Sure. All right. Give me a few minutes, bro. All right. Mind if I sit down? This is nice. I hear they have poetry readings here on Thursday night. I know. Me and my husband come here from time to time. Maybe I'll bring my wife here someday. Funny. I wonder if your wife knows you're here right now. Actually, she does. I told her I was coming to make sure he 
wasn't hooking up with a nutcase. I know how this may look. How does it look? What I meant is I have a family I love very much just as you love your husband. So what's she like? Who? Your friend, Shy. Why? I'm just asking a question. Look, lady, I'm not trying to hit on you. Then why are you here? I'm here for my friend, just like you. You know, there are some men who value friendship and marriage. Oh, really? Yeah, maybe your husband. But from your attitude doesn't show that to be evident. Excuse me? You don't know anything about me or my husband. I do know he has his hands full. Coffee's on me. Have a nice day. She's gonna kill me. What's up? You said something? Oh, thank you. So, what's up with your friend? Who, Malik? He's like my brother. And I wanted his opinion of you. Oh, and how was he gonna get that? Well, I knew you'd bring a friend, and I figured you'd question her. But your girl wasn't having it. <laughs> <laughs> That's my Kimmy. Wait, she thought I brought him here for her? I don't know. Did you? <laughs> Malik is happily married. And you found me. <laughs> Look, I may have found you, but remember this. I'm the catch, and it could easily be someone else sitting in your seat. You're right. You're right. I shouldn't have said that. You're right. You shouldn't have. But I shouldn't have implied that your friend was here looking for a booty call. Apology accepted. I was not apologizing. Babe, I don't see anything that says wings. Really, I don't see anything that even resembles a bird or a plane. They all look alike to me. Hello? Hey, I got it. Uh, Kimberly. The lady I was telling you about. Yeah, she helped me. <laughs> yes, really. I will. See you soon. Love you. My wife and I thank you. You're welcome. I want you to know I didn't portray you as a crazy person to my wife. In fact, I told her you appeared to be a decent friend of Shy. Good luck with that. I think children complete you. In a marriage, of course. Thank you. Uh, take care. You too. Hey. How'd it go? Mm -hmm. He seems nice.
nice. Won't know till she calls me. He brought a friend. Oh, really? Yeah. The Malik guy that we used to find him. What do you want? He said he was there to make sure his friend wasn't hooking up with a nutcase. Mm. Mr. Reed, are you jealous? Should I be Mrs. Reed? No, because I only have eyes for you. Mm. Then I'm not. Than I am. Babe. Hmm. Would you have a problem buying feminine products for me? Is this your way of telling me this can't go any further? No. It's just a question. Would you have a problem buying feminine products for me? No. I guess not. Where'd that come from? Just a question. Okay. Do you think children will complete you? Kimmy, I don't need children to complete me. Baby, you complete me. You don't want children? I'm not saying that. I'm saying that it never happens. I still feel like- Jason, you know, it's gonna happen. I know, baby. It's just that I love you with or without children. You don't want a family. We are a family. What? Kimmy, what I... Kimmy, Kimmy! Hello? Hey, girl. So, how did it go? It was nice. He's funny, charming. I like him. That's good, girl. So he's a keeper? I'm not sure yet, but who knows? Mm. Well, I liked them, and I think you guys look cute together. Thanks, Kimmy. That really means a lot. You're my girl, and I got your back. I just want to see you happy. Speaking of backs, I did not know Malik was coming, and I just want to say... It's I... not a problem. He was there as a friend, just like I was. So you're not mad? No. It's cool. Okay, what did you do with my best friend? I don't know. I think I just maybe prejudged him a little. Uh, what do you mean prejudged? You thought it was a booty call. I don't know, Shy. You don't know? Yeah, well, I saw him at the drugstore. What? What the hell was he doing there? Following you? No, nothing like that. I just, he's cool. Kimmy, what the hell are you doing? Not falling for his bullshit. Please, Shy, I said he's cool, not that I want him. And he really loves his wife. <laughs> and how do you know that? I just know. And I admire that. Okay, but admire his ass from afar. Trust me, girl, next time I see him, it will be at your wedding then you will never see him again. <laughs> Anything else, bro? No. No problem. It's gotta be so much than that black bear. What was that? Wow. 
that what I have to look forward to? Marry me, and you will be too soon. Yeah, you right. Oh, I'm miss being single. Mm. My goodness, I'm miss being single. So what you gonna do, man? Have you been tested? Can you have kids? Has she been tested? No. I don't know. Think she can't have? I don't think anything, man. Because it doesn't matter. I love Kimberly. No matter what. But she wants kids. In the worst way. My advice change a little. Change. Yeah. Two tips predictable. You always dress like a lawyer. Your face is always in that Blackberry. You even play basketball anymore? Do you? You're a professional football player, not a basketball player, little bro. Same thing. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. And, and what does that have to do with having kids anyway? I don't know. Maybe your sperm's a little too tired from work to swim upstream. <laughs> How about a pet? Kimberly, you have a second? This is Mr. Anthony of M.A. Construction. His company will be handling the developing of our new building. It's good to see you again. Oh, you've met? Well, we have some common interests. Great. Then working together should prove to be an advantage. Working together? Yes, I'd like you to assist Mr. Anthony in the construction as our point of contact. You know, relocating everyone, funding issues, and whatever he needs, of course. Of course. Great. Mr. Anthony, please, right this way. Sure. I'll show you the rest of the building. Good seeing you. Yeah. Okay. Mm. He's going to be fun to work with. He's married, Terry. Still going to be fun working with him. Hey. Hey. Jason. Baby, you go first. No, you talk. I'll listen. Okay. Baby, I know how wonderful It'll be when we finally have children. But I just want you to know that you mean everything to me, no matter what. There's something else. How long? One or two weeks. I'll be partners soon. Come with me. I can't. I just got a new assignment. Well, uh, 
That reminds me. I got you something. A gift. What is it? <laughs> so, that's your gift? Yep. Well, you said you wanted children. What? You did. She's cute. It's a boy. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yeah. What's your name? What's his name? Company. I like it. All right. So I'm at company. Now what's the real news? Malik Anthony. What? You saw him again? Is he following you? No, he's not following me. But yeah, I saw him again. New contractor we hired. Girl, wait a minute. You got to work with him? Ooh, you tell Jay yet? It's my job, Shy, not a date. Speaking of Jay, where, where is he? Phoenix. Two weeks. Long time. Tell me about it. Mm. But I got company. I got my girl. Sorry. I'm going to Jamaica with Daryl for a few days. Which reminds me, got to pick up a new bathing suit. But when was you going to tell me? I'm telling you now. Besides, I was not trying to but hear... But you barely even know him. That right there. <sighs> we'll be safe. I will, girl. I'll bring you and Toto something back. His name is company? Whatever. Mrs. Reed? Yes, Terry. Mr. Anthony's here to see you. Show him in. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Anthony. Please. It's Malik. I'm sorry, Mr. Anthony. Uh, I would prefer to keep this professional. Please have a seat right. and we'll begin. I really appreciate you this week. Thank you, but it's our job. <laughs> and a fine job you do. How about dinner tonight? My treat, to show my appreciation. I'm sorry, not me. Why not? I could sure use the company. Company? Because of the long hours at the beginning of a contract, my wife normally takes vacation. I don't do dates. It's not a date. And we'll invite Terry. It's a business dinner with the three of us. Okay, sure, why not? Great. I'll call you with the arrangements. See you later. This place is nice. Wow. He is too fine. Sorry I'm late. Had some last minute items come up. You chose a lovely place, Mr. Anthony. Thank you, man. 
please, we're out of office. It's Malik. Malik, it is. Okay. Malik. Great. Let's eat. So, tell me something about yourself, Malik. Well, I received my engineering degree from UM. I started my own business two years after that. One year later, I started a family with the woman of my dreams. Right. You're married. Yes. Happily. Excuse me for a second. I have to um, make a phone call. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> no need to apologize. This looks great. They serve the best steaks here. My wife and I come here often. I really think you'll enjoy it. It's been a long day. I think I'll finish the rest of this in my trailer. You don't mind if I call it a night, do you? Sure. Hello. Hey, Mr. Reed. Hey, baby. What time is it? Mm, not sure. Are you asleep? Busy day. No, I just want to hear your voice. Uh, I'll just let you sleep, and I will call you tomorrow. Okay. I love you. I love you, too. Today, I learned that your presence is tangible to my touch, and I'm able to see you in my sight. For as long as I lived, you have always been my light. I'm just saying. Yes. Good morning. Hey, what's up? I had to, um, you have a lot of tattoos. I shouldn't have interrupted. <laughs> I don't know. It's, uh, okay. I often stay here when the family's away working on a project. But I shouldn't have bothered you. Nonsense. Would you like some coffee? I just made a pot. Um, no, no. I just saw your truck outside. Just wanted to come by and say hi. So, <laughs> hi. <laughs> I should leave. Please, really, it's no bother. Say, what do you got planned for this morning? Just a little work. 
Nothing really, but why? I gotta check out a site for an up and coming contract. I think you might like it. I don't. Just... It's not a date. Really, it's work for me. Please? <sighs> sure. Why not? So, where is it? That's a surprise. But I think you might like it. Trust me. Trust me. Give me about an hour to get dressed and I'll meet you in your office. Okay. What are you thinking, Kim? Jason would not like this. Can't go anywhere with this man. Shy, pick up. Hey, this is Shy. Leave a message at the beep. This is not a date. Just two people hanging out. Hey, Kimmy, now's not a good time. Uh, Jason, I just want to see how you feel about me hanging Maybe. with. Are you alright? Yeah, yeah. I just have to. Maybe I have to call you back. Really, it's not a good time. Really. But I have to ask to see Jason. how you would feel Jason. if. I Ready? Sure. This is the part of my job I really love. Do you bring your family here? All the time. I try to share everything with them. You and Jason ever come here? No, not really. Work only give us seconds to share. Sometimes sharing seconds is more than enough. getting late. Let me take a few more measurements and we can go. Sorry I kept you so late. It's okay. Thank you for the museum. I really enjoyed it. Drive safe. See you Monday. Hey Malik. I'm in the park tomorrow after church. Just letting company get some exercise. You should join us. Company? My puppy. That's his name. Sure. Why not? I'll see you there. Okay. All right. Hello? Hey, baby. You okay? I've been calling you all evening. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Just been out. I'm fine. Really. Good. What was so important earlier? Nothing. Really. Um, the housework? 
months of work. I'm just missing you. I miss you too. Jason, when you get back, how about we go to a museum or something? A museum? Sure, but why a museum? I just want to spend time with you. Somewhere different. Get some sleep, baby, and I'll call you tomorrow. Love you. Love you, too. So, tell me about your family. Melissa, she's... strong, smart, beautiful. A lot like you. And your son? Tyler's wonderful. He's funny, loves to play, draws hammers, just like me. You love being a dad. He means everything to me. They both do. So you have any plans on having any more? Melissa, we discovered she had cancer after Tyler's birth. With the operations and... I'll never put her through that again. I'm sorry, Malik. And you? Children? Yes. I want lots and lots, lots and lots of babies. All right. Um, I come from a big family, three sisters and two brothers. They all have children, and I am the last one. Hmm. So, we're trying, but someday soon. But in the meantime, you can practice with this little guy. Who, company? Yeah. They need love, affection, little care. Just like children. You know what? This here has been a long time coming. <laughs> That's what he said. Hey girl, have a seat. I'll be right with you. What's going on, girl? You got that glow. Jason must be back. No, he's not back yet. Mm. Well, only a man can have me glowing like that. Kim, have you been hanging out with you know who? Lord, let me cover this chick's ears before all your business is in the street. Now, Miss Ellison, you know how your ass like to gossip. Now, put the headphones in and lay back before I mess your eyelashes up. Thank you. Now, what the hell did you do? Nothing. I just went to dinner with them. Dinner? But, but, Terry was there, and it was just a business dinner. Business dinner, my ass. It was a coochie dinner. Really, Shy? A coochie dinner? Only you have those. And he loves his family. Mm, and you learned that over dinner, right? Not dinner. At the museum and park. The museum and park? Yes, that's what she said. The museum and park, Kimmy. You are really screwing up here. It's just a friend, Shy. And like I said, he loves his wife and his son. And he wants to make love to you. You don't get it. He is just a friend. No, you don't get it. You have to be friends before you're lovers. Think about it, Kimmy. This is not right. Stop playing with fire before you get burnt.
Look, girl, just be careful. And think about Jason when you do stuff like museums and parks and shit. And my coochie dinners are expensive. Mine's too, girl. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying not to wake you, but... No, no. How was your trip? What is this? Company. Yeah, but he's in a bed? No, uh, he was only in a cage, and... I didn't know he was coming home early. Kimmy... He's a, like a baby. He's a dog. I'm tired, baby. Please just put him in his cage. I wonder if you would treat our baby like He's this. not a... I'm sorry. I didn't miss you. I put a company in his cage. He can... No. No? That's just... Mrs. Reed? Yes, Terry? Mr. Anthony's here to see you. Show him in. Good morning, Miss Reed. Good morning, Mr. Anthony. How can I help you? It's what I can do for you. I have a gift. It's for company. I thought you could use it. Thank you, Malik. This is very nice. You're welcome. Hey, I almost forgot. Would you like to have dinner with us? Dee's bringing Shy over to meet Melissa. Mm, I don't know. Jason just got bad. He's back? Yeah. Bring him. It'll be nice to meet him. Melissa's a great cook. And I'm sure Sha could really use her best friend there for moral support. Sure, we'll be there. Great. Here's my address. I'll see you tonight. Mm -hmm. What? Are you crazy? What? I thought we'd go give you moral support. Moral what? I'm having dinner, Kimmy. Not giving a eulogy. But I will be. Yours if you keep this shit up. Keep what up? Museums, walks in the park, now dinner. What are you thinking, Kim? Please, Shy. He's a colleague. And a friend. He is a contractor. And he is not your friend. Look, I'm your friend. And I'm telling you, end this schoolgirl crush before it gets ugly. Just dinner, Sha. What's the worst that can happen? Famous last words. Look, 
I gotta go, girl. See you tonight, I guess. Hello, welcome. Jason, it's a pleasure to finally meet you. I've heard so much about you. Please, come in. Everyone's in the dining room. He's heard so much about me. <laughs> <laughs> Dinner was wonderful, Melissa. Mm -hmm. Dad was right, you can really burn, girl. Thanks, Shy. So how was your makeup with this guy? Was he a perfect gentleman? Well, only when the situation required he be. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're amazing, Shy. Kimberly, I hope you don't mind sharing her. Oh, not at all. She's not much out anymore. Speaking of children, baby, would you mind checking on Tyler for me, please? Yeah. Excuse me. Kimberly, I hear you really love children. Yes, yes, I do. Malik's told me about the conversations you guys have at work. He believes you're going to be a wonderful mother. And after finally meeting you, I believe you will be too. Thanks. He told me you guys went to the museum. Isn't it amazing? We should meet there. Tyler loves it. Yes, that would be fun. Well, I'd love to stay longer, but got a call tonight. Yeah, thanks for the dinner, Mel. Melissa. Would you like help with anything before I go? Oh, no, no, please. You're a guest. Okay, cool. Everyone's leaving? Hey, it's really a pleasure meeting you, Jason. Everything okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just jet lag. Um, he just got back in last night. Right, right. Well, see you tomorrow. Thanks for coming out. Mm -hmm. The value of togetherness equals the value of loneliness. Only if the value of your marriage is weak. I'm just saying. Jason, I, I really need to get some sleep. I have a debriefing in the morning. Baby, I love you. If you are here, I'll send you to your room. Love may help you to learn, but today there's nothing but gloom. But it wouldn't be if you were here. I'm just saying. Are we at least going to talk about it? What's there to talk about? There's nothing going on. Is that what you think this is about? Kimmy, you, you lied to me. You didn't tell me you built a relationship with this man. A relationship? When you tell someone intimate details about your life, you build a relationship. And the worst part is, you didn't trust me to understand. At least take those I got my ass whip shades off. He's right, you know. I know. I should at least told Jason that I worked with him. I'm talking about the relationship. It is not a relationship, Shy. You keep telling yourself that, and maybe you'll believe it. What is it about this guy that's got you tripping? Is it cause he's fine? Or is it cause he's fine and a daddy? 
No way. I'll leave. But listen, I would not come at you like this if you wasn't my girl. But end whatever this is before it ends your marriage. Yes, Terry. Mr. Anthony is here to see you. Mrs. Reed? Show him in. Hey. I seen you yesterday. With Jason coming home, I decided to stay home. Good. I'm relieved it wasn't Melissa's cooking. You sure you're okay? Why wouldn't it be? I'm just busy. Sorry, I didn't mean nothing by that. Just thank Jason again for me for coming out. Mm -hmm. See you. Sorry for everything. I really wasn't thinking about us. Do you like this guy? Like? I think I, I admire love he has for his family. And what about the love I have for mine? We don't even have... Kimmy, we don't have a child. What is so wrong with me wanting a baby? Why can't you just recognize this as a family? Is it you can't? <laughs> or you won't? Jason, you don't want children? What if you can't have children? You can't have children? What if you can't have children? You think I can't have children? What makes you think it's me? You got tested? Kimmy, it doesn't mean anything. So it's me? What do you mean we don't know anything? I need some air. Kimmy, we don't know any- Kim! Kimberly? What are, you, what are you doing out here? Sit down. Take a seat. Shy's out with Daryl, and I, I had nowhere else to go. What's wrong? Nothing. <laughs> Everything. children. How do you know? Jason got tested. That doesn't mean anything. It means not Jason. And, and it means just that nothing more. 
can we have that bait? Bait. Yes, but I just know you're going to have a child someday. Have to be patient. going to happen, mommy. Thank you, Malik. <laughs> you know, you really understand. I'm glad you're my friend. I'm glad you're my friend too. supposed to be here but I couldn't stay away I, I know I got a good man at home but he keep looking at me like that making it easier to forget that this is wrong but it feels right did I do? I shouldn't have. I'm married. I, I want this to happen. But I'm married. Sorry. We cheated. I cheated. Can't take it back. Family. You should go. Kim? Kimmy, can we talk? Okay, then. Just listen. I got tested because I wanted to make sure that I could have our children. And I do want children. But only with you. And if we never have any, it's okay. That'll never diminish the love. And the joy I have be with you. I, I love you, Kimmy. So much.
We're not incomplete. <laughs> we are a family. I'm Harold Price. I work for Mr. Anthony. Okay. I'll be taking over the site. What? I mean, for how long? For the remainder of the contract. But, I assure you, pretty good at what I do. You won't even know he's gone. I'm sure. Well, if there's anything you need, you know where to find me. Good day, Miss Reed. partner in creating this life by partaking in an act, pretending he was already my husband and I his wife. But now, I enjoyed the ride on what soon became soothing waves. I was able to hang ten on my boogie board. I'm just saying. Is everything okay? Mm, I'll be all right. Just something going around work, and I finally have my turn at it. I'll call you when my plane lands. In my womb, I knew there was evidence of what did exist. Yet, I walked through the doors of Planned Parenthood, scared, but willing to dismiss. Oh. My. God. I'm just saying. Here you go, Mr. Reed. Hey, I'm sorry. We gotta go back. I forgot the Blackberry. Right away, Mr. Reed.
But I guess we'll see. How you been? Malik, I, we have a problem. I'm pregnant. Did you hear me? I said I'm pregnant. And <laughs> I don't know if it's Jason's or yours. You'll be fine. I fine? What do you mean by fine? How am I telling him this shit when he gets home? Jason, I'm finally pregnant. Oh, but by the way, cheated on you, and the baby may not be yours. <laughs> yeah. You didn't tell your husband? No, I didn't. I'm not hurting him like that. Kimberly, you should have told him. He, he deserves to know. Well, I didn't. <laughs> what is this about? Me and you? What? <laughs> if this baby is yours, you think we're going to be together or something? You got it all wrong. Well, you can forget that. I don't love you, and I never have. You were a fling, and just because you lost your little marriage doesn't mean I'm about to lose Wait mine. a fucking minute. Me telling my wife had nothing to do with you. Nothing. I told her because she deserves better in a marriage and a man. I failed her and my family. You don't see that. Because you're too busy worrying about Kimberly's wants and needs. I lost my family. And all you can do is come at me with this shit? What am I supposed to do? Go home. Talk to your husband. And leave me the fuck alone. I'm coming. I am coming. This is what I'm going to be doing. Hey. What's, what's going on? I screwed up, Shy. And I screwed up bad. Kim? What? What happened? I'm pregnant. Yay. Aren't we supposed to be happy? I don't know whose it is. Malik? And you didn't use a... It just happened. Kim, what happened here? I don't know. I take it Jason doesn't know yet? Well, when you gonna tell him? I'm not. You're not gonna tell him? I think he's gonna know something in three or four months. I'm not gonna have it. What? What are you saying? I don't know. This is... You can't do this. You're being selfish. Sha, I can't have this baby. And I can't hurt Jason. <laughs> now you're thinking about Jason? Please. I didn't come here for this shit. But you came here for my help and this shit comes with it. Kim, I love you, but you are wrong and you owe Jason the truth. I can't, I can't, I can't. Then what about me? 
I'll be lying to Jason every single time I see him. Sha, can I have this baby? It's funny. I've been waiting for a child so long. And I can't believe the words I just said. But it's true. I cannot have this child. I asked my best friend, I need your help. And I'm gonna do this with or without you. I'm doing this to save my marriage. I'm gonna help you because I love you, but let's just get this one thing straight. I think you are wrong. And you're not doing this to save your marriage. You're doing this for you. And if you continue to do things just for you, there won't be a marriage or a friendship to save. Hello, Kimberly. I don't know where to begin, but I'll start with, I'm sorry. I was wrong for blaming you for my divorce. I screwed up my marriage, not you. And I do accept that fact. You have a good marriage, and I'm sure you'll make a wonderful mother. Don't worry, the child is yours and Jason's. Melissa had complications after the birth of our son, and I promised her I would never see her go through that again. I had a bisectomy, so there is no way the baby can be mine. Good luck with your child, your marriage, and the completion of your family. Malik. already complete, whole, a family, defining my wholeness by my yearning to bring forth a life from the death of my womb. He gave me that. He gave me love. I'll continue to climb great heights for my offspring, just so they'll have the chance to see a brighter day and enjoy a warmer night. Don't worry, I'll fight. I'll give you love. Was mommy baby a good girl for Auntie Gimme today? Yes, she was. I know you were, baby. I'm baby. You won't be incomplete. <sighs> Even if that offspring is not of me and he I'm just saying.
Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh. 